Welcome back, everybody, to some more Assassin's Creed. We're moving on with the, uh, uh, find out what's going on in the bazaar. And now we have to, some, there's like some stalls have been ransacked, so we got to find out what's going on. Uh, oh. You have wasted it. This is taking too long. I have somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off the finger. Maybe that will loosen her coin purse. Um. Okay. Hold a moment. I this is not concerned. Oh, wait. Nice work. We'll never know. Help! Over here! What the? Seriously? What's up, guys? <laughs> Why have I got my knives out? Seriously? Mm -hmm. See, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Seriously? Oh, fuck it. Come on. I had to kill people to do it. What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short a coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here. Are not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the direct Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank oh. you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. No oh, shit. No oh, shit. Why did it? Where am I going?
What do you see, Angelo? There we go. That camp must be where the merchants are. The merchants should be down this road. Perhaps near a ridge for shelter. Now there's no bad guys. Ooh, flamingos. Halt! Who goes? Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do horses. not know what to make of it. Let me help. Oh, Jesus. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit yeah. must have left a clue. Oh, is this the godfather? And the blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My, my horse, my squeak like goon. Malaka, who would do such a terrible blade. deed? Do not cast your eyes on me. I did no such evil. What'd you do? Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock. Malaka. <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. Rest in peace, Legum. Oh. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well. But I saw someone, I think. I cannot be sure. You think you saw one someone you can't be sure. Awesome. What's this up here? Uh coin collection from those people. I think I know what happened. What happened? I don't know. Hey, I think this I know what happened. Work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Sure. sure. God bless you. Quickly. Get us away from here. Yeah, let's Let go. Let us move. The city is not too far. Come. We should leave this place. Quickly. Should have stayed home. Hmm. Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here across the water. I come from a land down under. Carry goods to and from Baghdad. All the cities we visited. Come here. Don't wander off. I'm right here. Your merchant friend tells me Some that nice the camels are bound for the Dahirat al Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demands. So you are attending that? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. So well, someone gonna jump out and attack us? Nope. Who sent you? You cannot run or hide. Here, to enter the right side, you have to pay the price. Oh, come on. I just knew me, big boy. Just you wait. Oh, shit. Commercials must be found. One of the uh, safety you must be silenced. Kill the rest, too. They have no consequence from what I've got heard. The guards report to someone called Al Hankar. This confirms my suspicions. Where's. Where'd my horse go? Don't wander off! Ah. Some. Will you stop running into me, you dickhead? 
Good heavens. Let's go. Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. Yeah. We've been vocal against the Khilafa and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the silent sheep is an ally to corruption. Mm. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Hey, look. We found the gate. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are wonderful. Thank you. What the fuck? Stupid thing. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sahidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called an Anka. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as Al-Anqa, which was odd, because is the Anqa not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. So Hayal lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafakakallah. Wafakakallah. Let's go there. Where's that? No. The tax collector's house. I need your help, my friend. Who we got? Who we got? Couple here, couple there. I don't care about anybody outside. Anybody else? No, there's three. Ooh. This might not have been the wisest of places to go. The tax collector is due a visit. Hey, come here. Keep a lookout. What's anyway. happening? Quick. No, what happened? Where do I need to go? Knives there, knives there. 
All right, we gotta get inside somehow. Yeah, rest. How do I get inside? I'll be seen if I go that way. Where are they? I don't know. Am I supposed to kill him? The taxes have been paid. There might be more information I can find around here. Coins becoming scarce. Have you increased the taxes like I asked? Here's the... You might be experiencing a few obstacles. The shipment of cream is also late. Uh, I don't usually send more than one letter about nothing, something I want done. I never send a third in. The tax collector does not work alone. Someone not from Baghdad controls the strings. There is a scent on the letter. Perfume. Ah. With iron. Mm. Hey. What are you doing in here? Down with you. Shut up. Uh, here are the proposed taxes increase police act accordingly grains one twentieth food stuffs one tenth textiles one tenth ceramics one fifth nerd laws that uh, I play a change each now deliver another tenth on top of the given tax Orders and to increase taxes more coin trickling into their hands. Did I miss them? Ah, right there. I'm not going that way. Can't go that way. Great upon a mountain. The blockade of the harbor is funded by the coin of the people. I am done here. Nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the bureau. Ah. Let's head back to the bureau. Back, mm -hmm. guys. What's it going on? Um, oh, up there. Our protocol hidden one returns. Finally, you found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimiyun, someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Dimiyun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. 
Well done. We. Oui. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al Anga and Al Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. Hey, why don't I have my other voice? Um. Oh, okay. Get down. Go somewhere else. Shut up. I know you don't get angry often, but what you doing up here? <laughs> the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin, and we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission. Distract? It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wives. And how much more so for fools. Haban Mubatalan. Mm hmm. What she said. My dragon. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karg, treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire. And draw you from the shadows. Okay. Come through. Oh yeah, ho. Bassem! Laya! Should have known you would be here. Do you have any information about the treasure? Someone who works for the Khilafa. The treasure? Hmm. I do have something, but 
You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What, job do what you the hell? Now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Dai Irat Al Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. You can't get the damn thing. Come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. What the hell? Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. Ah, right, let's go get Kong's stupid thing again. I assume you heard about the promotion. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate. What am I looking for? Um Why the hell did I do that? The hell. Trust Kong to hold a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. I do everything around here. Ah. 
Tong, I got your super plate. Move it. Out of the way. Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. Nope. I wonder a lot of them have foreign clothes on. Move it, move it, move it. Get out of the way. Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat. What you got to say? We can rush, yes, that The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That what? woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears closed. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy than three dozen bosses going missing. The harbor is holding our supply. The production has been slow in Sahel Dutty. Certain incidents there have been made us. Will situation. you stop jumping down? Where are you going? Now what? You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. <laughs> blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume on the tax collector's letters. I thought it smelled like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaykum asalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. What does that mean? It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught the scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich Ning. mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al Mal, Ya Sayyidati. Very cordial. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. Hello. 
Am I going the right way? Move it. Move it. Move it. Take your shit. Move it. Get out of the way. Take your shit. Nope. Yasas, Nihao, hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great no. joy Yay. to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al Mal. First, oh, an our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends. We have a stunning statue from India, made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans. It will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once. What are they bidding? Twice. A third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ding. Two. Any others? Hmm. Uh. Race. We have a third there. Who? Who owns it again? Number three. What will you do? How much do you want this, my friend? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Reach into my pocket. Uh, yeah. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyidi. Now, for the third item. Got your hairpin. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Um, where do I get my hairpin? Oh, I got my hairpin. Did you see her? Mm. Move it. with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you brooch. know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. No. Right. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer. If she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. There's somebody. Move it. Oh, 
Are we walking away? This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Oh, impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello? Trouble with customers. No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Kar. Thank you. Hello, spices for you? All right. I swear that was not being lit up by any means earlier. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. Allah. Um. I don't know if this will work. Climb up. There we go. Where's it at? An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. Mm. I should have expected it to exist. Anybody in here? The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. What? Um, so nothing. <clears throat> what the? No hmm. point getting all worked up. Is there something going on? We'll yes. stay away. Come here. Hold up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your own mother won't recognize what's left of you. That's when rude. I'm done. Give me the damn brooch. Ivory coins brooch. Shiny. I have those trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. No, not the way we came.
How are you doing? This way. Move. Move. No. I don't need a blend in. Now let me in, asshole. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. About time. Open the door. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasure. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. You're super loud. This is of inferior make. I wonder if you really are the expert you claim to be. This plate is priceless, I swear it. Treasurer, Ning, if only you... Go. Leave the box. Forget the plate out of my sight. Perhaps the dogs and the soup can use it for their meal. <sighs> The standards are too high. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasure inappropriately. You may enter. No. Oh. Why, thank you. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Move it, nerd. Is it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No, but I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. What if I don't do it? Oh, what's this? 
Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly alone. Now what? Sit down. Anything of importance in here before I leave? Maybe? No? Alright. We're out. I killed her. Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity harsh. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? Mm-hmm. It, uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. I am here. Basim, the Mahal. I cannot keep them waiting. Are they aware, your companions, that their hunter is hunted in his sleep? If it were in my sleep alone, I could bear it. 
but it followed when I fled Anbar. Now it stalks me when I slay those I hunt. The ones from the palace, in the masks. Four are dead at my hand. The last, the head of the snake, will join them soon. Why slit its throat when you could loosen its tongue? What? Why would I... The jinni only struck in sleep. It never dogged you by the day until you reached into that chest. The masked ones prize what lay within. The ancient object that woke at your touch. They may hold more answers living than dead. I hunt my enemies. I do not break bread with them. I took an oath, Nihal. How can you hunt when you are hounded? If you could walk the dark unburdened, you could better serve the light. I stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Not from the order of the ancients. If you will not ask your foes, then at least ask your friends what slept in that chest. And why they sought it. These great questions. My companions wait for me at the Harbia Bureau. Clear your mind, Basim. Focus on the task before you. All right, and with that, we'll end this one here. Where'd I go? It disappeared. I hope you guys are enjoying Assassin's Creed. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace.